Hello, my name is Apoe, and today we're going to make a gesso casting out of a metal plate I etched earlier. In class, we used this blue chemical to make the lines I carved even deeper. And then, a friend made for me some neat bevels. Originally, we were going to use a special press at uni to make prints out of this plate. But since quarantine forced us to improvise, we are going to make a cast of the print instead. Before everything went down, I managed to make a quick print in cheap paper to see if everything looked like I planned. I used some industrial cardboard to make a DIY mold following a tutorial my teachers made. They posted it on their Insta, Grafica Armitaña, if you are interested. I used a coffee table in my living room to ink the plate. I had to relocate all my mom's decorations, but it was the only table I could use. You must use a glass table or it will not survive the inking process. No one will be able to clean that. I used a fabric called Taldillo in soft circle motions to take off the excess ink. I took advantage of the manual inking process to create a gradient and add some atmospheric lighting. I used some double-sided tape to secure the plate to the mold. On my first attempt, I used a dental casting gesso that I bought before the quarantine. I underestimated how much I was going to need and ended up using everything I had. I waited till it solidified completely and then removed it from the mold. Even though it came out pretty great, I was slightly disappointed that it absorbed most of the ink and I didn't get the gradient I wanted. I tried again with a different type of gesso and used even more ink than before. Some of the gesso crept under the plate, so I had to remove it carefully and avoid breaking it. Fortunately, everything went well. I was taken aback by the result. I had lost my faith in the gesso and this looked exactly how I wanted. Here's a side by side comparison of both prints. I think they both came out pretty good and I hope you like them. Thanks for watching. Consider hitting the subscribe button and sticking around for more videos. Bye!